to be honest with you, I want I want all of these major fights. I always wanted a Javante Tank Davis fight. Mm -hmm. They stayed away from it. I wanted a Leo Santa Cruz fight. They didn't want it. I want fights to be able to put on my resume. I want these high quality names, these high quality guys to put on my resume. I, I got maybe, I want to take a couple more fights before I actually decide to truly retire. But whatever fights it is, I want it to be credible opponents okay. to, you know, to add on to my resume and my legacy. Okay. Um, what do you feel you bring to the table that maybe that could beat those guys at at at, this, at at you know at an advanced age? How do you feel like now, you versus a Guerrero or um, Leo Santa Cruz or a Tank would go? Like what what do you bring? Oh man, I think it'll go the same way it would have went if they would have fought me back then. Mm. I'm gonna still spank that ass. <laughs> you know, it's personal between me and I'm gonna do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so, you know, I had to, had to put on a little winter hat. You know, shout out to the Marlins. You know, we're getting our, our one week of winter here in South Florida where it's like 60 degrees. So, put it on some nice winter clothes. But nonetheless, wanted to speak about this, right, because... At the beginning of the month, I had a chance to go to the Don King show. And while I was there at the Don King show, I had the opportunity and the, and the, and the privilege to, to meet, you know, a guy that is, is a pretty polarizing figure in the sport. You know, you know, you either love him or you hate him or you just, you know, there really is no in-between when it comes to Mr. Gary Russell Jr. But I had a chance to meet him. And I got to say, man, it was a pleasure meeting him. You know, he was uh, one of the nicest fighters I ever met. Very gracious with his time. Very fun to talk to. And just really cool. Just a really cool guy, Gary Russell Jr. And obviously, he was a fantastic. He's been a fantastic fighter for his career. You know, former WBC champion. Uh, made a bunch of defenses. Beat some good fighters along the way. But, you know, he, he gets criticized a lot because people don't like how inactive he's been. But as, you know, he said himself, look, um, I may not be active. But when I am active, I get compensated for it. So, it's, it's, it's a double-edged sword, you know, but um, he hasn't fought. We haven't seen him in the ring since, what was it, January of 2022 when he fought Mark Moxile and was on the wrong end of a fight that he feels he won. I actually thought he won that fight too, but, you know, uh, they didn't give it to him, so life goes on. He's not the champion no more, right? So with that being said, he said that uh, I asked him very frankly and very honestly, you know, do you think, you know, is it still in your future? Is it still in your heart to box? Are you still going to be participating in the sport or are you going to be moving more towards the, the trainer aspect of the sport and he made it very clear to me he said he had a little winter hat too like me he said it's time to make these motherfuckers scared again it's time to make these motherfuckers scared again <laughs> and he said look gary said pretty much that he does have ambitions to box that he does want big fights and um that's just what it is now i'm gonna say this and and I felt like I felt like I, I was thinking about making this video for a while, just talking about Gary Russell, but I wasn't sure how what I was gonna talk about. But it, it became clear to me as the weeks went on what I would talk about, because then PBC not too long after announced their new deal with Amazon Prime, and I feel like Gary Gary's thirty three years. Or what is he? What is he now? What, what's Gary's age? I know Gary's in his thirties now. Gary Gary's towards the the twilight of his career. So I think Gary's just looking for that one last big fight. I feel like if Gary gets any one of those fights, like if Gary gets like a Lomachenko. Somehow a Javante Davis or like a Leo Santa Cruz, he gets any one of them three. I feel like he'll he'll retire from the sport just because I feel like he he wants one he wants one of those signature fights, one of those big names, one of those last big paydays in the sport, one of those last big opportunities to prove what he can do in the ring and and, and, to, and to each his own. He deserves that, right? Now I'm just being realistic. I don't think he'll get Javante Davis because I think Javante Davis um, is gonna want to fight like an Isak Cruz or something like that, right? And there's not really a ton of money or reason to fight a Gary Russell Jr. So I, I don't think that's realistic, right? Lomachenko, you know, Gary's not a, a 35 pounder. He's not a featherweight either. So he'll probably be at 130. Um, I think if, if Gary got presented the opportunity to fight Lomachenko, he'd do it. But Lomachenko's going to be fighting George Cambosos Jr. here really soon. So when I, when I think of all the signature fights for Gary Russell Jr. in his career that could have happened, the only one that I really feel at this juncture in time is, 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 is capable and likely to happen, could happen, is him versus Leo Santa Cruz. Yes, that's the fight I feel. That's the last fight I feel for Mr. Gary Russell Jr. that he needs to have before his career is done. Why? Because, well, look at the timelines. Let's just do the timelines real quick. Gary Russell Jr.'s last fight was in January of 2022. Leo Santa Cruz's last fight was in 
February of 2022. So with that being said, they both have been inactive for about the same amount of time. They both have been had a pro career for about the same amount of time. Their names were once linked to fight each other at one point in time. So I just think it, it makes a lot of sense. I think um, from the Leo Santa Cruz side of things, you know, he's taking some beatings in his career. He's been in some wars with guys like, um, you know, obviously Javante Davis, uh, Abner Mares, and, and guys like that. You know, he's he, he's 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 suffered a lot of uh, punishment in his career. Gary Russell Jr. isn't as big of a puncher as those guys are, right? So I don't, I don't think he'll take the kind of punishment he took in those fights. But it's a hell of a fight. I, I think it'd be a hell of a way to go out. Um, I think once PBC starts doing their Amazon Prime shows, this would be the fight for me because both these guys have been inactive for about the same amount of time. And these guys are two of the, the Al Heyman PBC originals. And these are two of the guys that I feel should, um, should fight each other because there's a lot of history there. They're both champions. At one point in time, the fight could never get done or over the line. Gary said that Leo Santa Cruz was ducking him, which, let's just be real, Leo Leo moved very, very carefully when he was champion. Leo, Leo, a lot of guys Leo didn't fight, okay? Gary couldn't get a lot of those fights for whatever the case may be. So I think I think it'd be a good fight stylistically. You know Leo, what he, you know how he fights. He comes forward, all action, Mexican pressure style. Gary Russell Jr. could do a little bit of everything. You know, he could box. You know, he can punch. Um, got some of the fastest hands in boxing. He's fought a good amount of Mexican fighters before. You know, he's fought uh, guys like he won his title against a Mexican fighter, Johnny Gonzalez. Uh, you know, beat a Mexican-American in Jojo Diaz. Um, you know, and look, so 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 I, I just think if there was ever a way to go out for Gary in his career, I think the Leo Santa Cruz fight is the best way to go out. And then I think once that's done for Gary... He could hang it up, get him some a nice payday, you know, maybe a win, if you know, hopefully a win for his sake. And then I think, look, I, I really believe to I really believe to the core of my bones that Gary Russell Jr. is gonna make a fantastic trainer. I think I think Gary Russell, the trainer, will actually supersede Gary Russell, the fighter. Um and there's been guys like that. There's been some guys in boxing that are like that. Like I think I don't know if Buddy McGirt is, is a better trainer than he was a fighter, but he's such a damn good trainer, and he's been doing it for so long that some people, some people who are younger don't even know that he was a fantastic fighter, right? I think Gary could have a, a, a similar type of legacy um, because I think he's got a lot of knowledge to give to his brothers and other fighters in the, D, in the, in the Washington, D.C. area. Just, just fighters in boxing. He's, he's a smart guy. He's very personable. He's easy to talk to. Um, and I just feel Gary Russell Jr., his story in boxing is not done. You know, his, his father, may God rest his soul, his father did a great job um, training all of his sons. And, and he's kind of stepped into that role. And I feel like God chose him to be in that role. So I think he's going to be a great trainer. But in the meantime, if he's got that, if he's got it in his heart, he's got it in his spirit to commit himself to this sport just that one last time for a big fight. I think that big fight should be Gary Russell Jr. versus Leo Santa Cruz on one of the first two or three PBC on Amazon Prime show. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Y'all let me know what you think. What do you guys think about just that? I'm just I'm just I'm thinking out loud here. BT True School. I'm just just thinking out loud here because I interviewed him and I was thinking about, you know, what what fight could what big fight could he go out on? And that was the fight that came to mind. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding from Daniel. So until next time, take your eyes. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.